Hey guys, Mike here with CMMG. 2019, where has it gone? Just yesterday, I was shipping out some crates for SHOT Show 2020, and I had to stop and think for a second. It just felt like I was just doing this for the 2019 SHOT Show. 2019 has flown by. We've done so many fun things, and you guys have been right there with us. You guys have supported us. You've had all the fun right along with us, and we wanted to say thank you. So I wanted to take a minute and just kind of look back at 2019 and see what all we've done, how far we've come, and then we get to look forward to where we get to go in the future. Uh, a lot of great things lie ahead, but just looking back, in 2019, we did a ton of stuff. I mean, we started off with our new logo. In 2019, we rebranded ourselves a little bit. We came up with a new logo, and we came up with some new product lines. Um, not really new product lines. They're actually guns that we've had for quite a while. We just kind of restructured them a little bit in hopes to make it easier for you guys to navigate. In the simplest of terms, our 2019 product lineup has three categories and each of those categories has three sublines. So, category one, the Endeavor. The Endeavor, the easiest way to think about the Endeavor is it is our line of long range guns. That's gonna be your 6.5 Creedmoors, your 6.5 Grindles, your 224 Valkyrie, your 22 Nozzle, things like that. Uh, then you're gonna be looking at your Resolutes. The Resolutes are your tried and true workhorses. They're the 16 inch carbine, you know, your kind of standard AR-15, the things that everybody's had for quite some time, and we have a ton of caliber offerings in those. Uh, and then we have our Banshees. Banshees, simply put, are our line of pistols and SBRs, so they're the short guys. Underneath each of those categories, we break them down into subcategories. Each of those has a 100 series, a 200 series, and a 300 series. Easiest way to think about it, a 100 series is kind of your entry level gun. It has really modest equipment on it, really modest furniture. It allows you to be able to take that gun and kind of customize it a little bit more to your liking. When you look at the 200 series, we've added a few things to it. So we've had upgrades like, you know, different pistol grips, different stocks or braces, um, different attachments, um, you know, so you're stepping up a little bit in some of the components that it comes with. And then when you look at our 300 series, the best way to think of that is those are our top of the line guns. Those are fully loaded. Those are gonna come with Premier Cerakote. Those are gonna have ambi controls. Those are gonna have, on a lot of the models, they're gonna have upgraded triggers. Um, just a lot of the extras that you're gonna get, um, they really, that's where they show up is in the 300 series. Just as a reminder, Endeavor, long range guns, Resolute, carbines, Banshees, pistols, and SBRs, 100 series, entry, 200 series, mid-level, 300 series, top of the line. So if you really think about it that way, it really kind of streamlined things quite a bit. Along with our new product lineup and our new changes for 2019 at SHOT Show, we were also pleased to be the first AR company to release an AR-15 in Winchester's new 350 Legend. It was touted as the world's fastest straight wall cartridge, and we had an opportunity to work with them a little bit before they released the cartridge, so we knew it was coming out. Shortly after the release of the 350 Legend, we had another fun product that we came out with. This was our 9mm AR conversion. Essentially what it is, is a piece that you can put into a 30 round PMAG that converts your PMAG into a 9mm magazine. Now we did a little tweaking on this compared to the one that was already out on the market. And this one is designed specifically to use with our patented radio delay blowback operating system. So you can take your standard AR lower, you can take one of our radio delay blowback uppers, throw this magazine in, and now you have 9mm. The great thing about this is for those of you that have NFA products, if you have a fully uh, you know, fully transferable machine gun, if you have a short barrel rifle, something that's chambered in a caliber that requires a standard AR mag, now you can shoot it in nine millimeter. So even competition shooters, you can go out, you can have your gun that you're used to, but you want to shoot for a little bit less, or you want to go into a PCC class. Uh, you know, this, this affords you that opportunity to change it up, but still have all those familiar controls. The nine millimeter AR conversion has been an incredible success for us. We've had a lot of great support on it. Um, it comes in a couple different ways. You can actually just get the inserts and do your own magazine to get our upper, or you can buy completely pre-made magazines. And as far as product releases go in 2019, after the 9mm AR conversion came the big one. The one you guys have been asking for since 2017. The minute we released a product chambered in 45 ACP, all of you started asking, when are you going to have it in 10mm? 10mm is a little bit of a finicky cartridge. Uh, it had some design challenges, but our engineers were up to the task. So 
we released the Mark 10 chambered in 10 millimeter in the Banshee lineup. We had a lot of YouTubers that had videos out on it. We had a lot of social media partners. Uh, a lot of people really wanted to get their hands on that 10 millimeter. And when we released it, a lot of people showed their support for it. Our engineers, um, I tell you what, they, they knocked it out of the park. They did a lot of work on that. They're doing a lot of work on a lot of other things too. A lot of stuff that I can't talk about right now. I really wish I could. The fun thing is a lot of you will ask us. You'll send us PMs. You'll put us questions in our YouTube page and all this stuff. You'll say, when are you going to do this? Are you working on this? i tell you guys, it's something I can't answer and I won't answer. I wish I could, but I'll tell you what. Our engineers have a ton of fun ideas uh, coming out. We're going to have a lot, a lot of fun stuff coming out still. Um, I'll tell you what. While you have an opportunity, hit us up in the comments. What would you like to see us come out with? Along with uh, seeing a lot more competition shooting and having the Ackley 5 and the Midwest Competition Shooting Team, uh, we decided we wanted to have more fun with social media too. Uh, so we started working on getting some videos out there, growing our YouTube channel, and we had people like our Midwest Competition Shooting Team out to visit us for a little bit. We had people like Hootie Who, and we had Kentucky Ballistics out. So Hootie Who was the first video that we had for fun on the farm. He came out, and I know you guys are probably going to get tired of hearing this, but we had a whole lot of fun. And that's, that's all we wanted to do. We wanted to go out, shoot some guns, get his hands on a bunch of different things, let him see what he thought let him get some content and then us have some fun in the process so if you have an opportunity go check out hootie who uh, he's got a great channel he reviews a lot of our products he, he's a great guy uh, we look forward to working with him more in the future uh, second video we had our midwest competition shooting team out they came out and they played a game of gun uh, I know we're saying guns and playing that probably shouldn't work together but what we did here was if you've ever played pig or horse with basketball it was kind of like that so the guys picked a shot everybody had to do the shot if you didn't make the shot you got a letter spell gun you're out last person standing wins so that was something we just wanted to try out and have a little bit of fun with because we had a few shooters out uh, and we think it worked really well third person we out, had out was Kentucky Ballistics uh, we allowed him to just shoot a lot of full auto stuff uh, and get some content for his channel uh, and get some full auto Friday stuff. So, you know, make sure you go check out Kentucky Ballistics. He has some great videos out there. He's got a lot of videos with some of our stuff. We've got three fun on the farms out so far. Uh, had a ton of fun putting those out. That's why we call them fun on the farm. It's because we just go out and have fun and just have the cameras recording. Uh, but, you know, speaking of fun on the farm, what would be some ideas that you would like to see us do? Uh, you know, hit us up in the comments with that. You know, is, is there something that you would like to see us try? Uh, is there a gun you would like to see us use out there? Who would you like to see come out for fun on the farm? Who would you like to see us go visit? You know, we've got a lot of great industry partners. We're going to be talking to a lot of them for 2020 to see where we're going to go. Uh, we look forward to making a lot more of these videos and having even more fun with that. Along with having people come out to see us, we even travel a little bit too. Uh, you know, this year we went out to TriggerCon in Washington to see if that might be something that we want to do. Uh, obviously, we go to SHOT Show. We go to NRA. I was in Indy this year. Next year, it's going to be in Nashville. So make sure you come out and check us out there if you get an opportunity. We went to the Iraq Vet 8888 annual shoot down in Georgia. That has a lot of YouTubers. It's kind of like a big family reunion, honestly. Uh, all the media people get together. They shoot a lot of our guns, they shoot a lot of our ammo. We collect content, they collect content, and we just go out and have fun. Uh, this year was a little different because we had uh, Tropical Storm Nestor, I believe it was, that decided to show up and just drench us for the entire event. But that didn't stop us. It was it was a blast, no pun intended. Uh, I don't think spirits were down at all. Uh, we look forward to that event every year. We had something else we did across all of our platforms and with some other industry partners this year. We gave a couple guns away. When we released the Mark 10, the 10 millimeter, we had a drawing to give away a 10 millimeter. And then we had the five year anniversary of the Mark 47. Some of you guys might refer to it as a mutant. We don't call it that anymore. We refer to it as the Mark 47. It's available in both Banshee and Resolute, but we had a really cool one decked out, kind of looked like an AK-47. We had some custom Cerakote on it. Uh, Leupold Optics was kind enough to get us a Mark 6 1-6 optic to put on it. That thing was absolutely beautiful. A lot of us were jealous. A lot of us here in the factory really wanted that for ourselves. But one lucky winner out in Virginia got that. Congratulations on that. Uh, you know, that, that's going to be something else you're going to see even more from us here in the future. Uh, you know, we're looking at doing some big giveaways, 
some small giveaways. Uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you go to cmmginc.com slash insider and sign up to be one of our insiders. You're going to hear about that stuff first. All of those product releases, the giveaways, all that stuff. You're going to get an email from us about that stuff before it goes available to the public or before it becomes available on our website. Make sure you go sign up for that to, to you know, stay in touch, to stay in tune with all things CMMG. All right, guys, thanks again for watching the video. We've had a ton of fun in 2019. We look forward to an incredible 2020. If it wasn't for you guys supporting us and being there for us and helping us grow our YouTube channel, our Instagram, our social media presence, helping us come up with all the fun new products that we're coming up with, uh, you know, we wouldn't be where we are today. So again, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what would you like to see from us in the future, uh, product-wise, video-wise, content-wise. Uh, you know, where would you like to see us go? Is there an event that is big in your neck of the woods that we don't know about? Man, let us know about it. We're always looking for fun new places to go, meet all of you guys, and and get an opportunity to get our products in your hands and get your feedback. So guys, thanks again. Uh, while you're at it, make sure to give us a like on this video, give us a subscribe on YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook, all the social medias that we're on. I wanted to say thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking this ride with us. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be having so much fun in my job. I absolutely love my job. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So until next time, be safe.